but it does just take a lot of faith being um, a police officer's wife. I, I think for me, whenever I would see a news media um, or anything go out where an officer involved shooting, I uh, immediately would text Ken um, mm -hmm. to find out, you know, where, when, you know, were you involved? You know, so it, it, it can be a little bit bending um, yeah. at times. And, you know, like I said, sometimes it could just be helping that support. As an example, I may not always be able to get in touch with Ken if there is an officer involved seating. So that leads me to stress a little bit until I can hear from him. Whereas I might be able to just look on the, the page for the spouses. And if it's posted right there, then I know that, okay. oh, it wasn't involved, where it happened, when it happened. And I actually have the facts and not really just the hearsay um, about it. And that, that could also be a big relief too um, okay. off your mind. So it, it's a source to, of information to be able to go to, to help. And just like you said, even to be a little fun about it too. Maybe even have some gatherings, a spouses uh, get together great. or something yeah. like that. You know, something fun and exciting, something uplifting like uh, Kasima was saying, if there are spouses out there that stay at home moms that aren't able to get out, we may be able to do something like a gathering or suggesting like a picnic with the kids where they can get mm -hmm. out and get together and even meet each other. And sometimes it's even great for if the husbands are able to come along, some of them, a lot of them know each other, but to, to even get together and even talk with each other about yeah. what they've been through. Because unfortunately, a lot of the officers tend to not recognize some of the emotional trauma they've gone through. And to be able to reach out through that spouse to another officer who's been through that tragedy also helps as well. So it, it's a it's being able to put those puzzles together and connect the dots to just help everyone get through it. When I got to talk to her when I was pregnant and we had that conversation on the phone, it felt so good to have a conversation with somebody and they actually understood what you were going through. A lot of times when you go through a situation, you'll have people around you that say, oh my God, I'm so sorry, I understand. And they, they don't really understand, you know? And a lot of people don't understand that it, it's been, four years now and you're still dealing with the repercussions of, of the incident that happened. Um, like she said, trauma, uh, anxiety, uh, I related to you so well because every time when there is something that happens as far as the incident for police officers, I have to get an, a text message from Brandon to be like, that wasn't me, I'm okay, I'm fine. Because it's just like, that is our reality. That is something that's real to us. And so whenever something like that happens, to know that it's like you have to get a text message just for them to say, it's not me, I'm fine, I'm okay. It, it, it's a very real feeling and, and it just helps to be surrounded by people that understand or that are people that are knowledgeable enough to know that God forbid if this situation ever happened to you, this is how you navigate through it and get to the other side. Thank you.